ones away from the VOR. And the approach will be, we will go for the Skopelos VOR. We will then continue on the outbound radial of 205 for 10 nautical miles. And at 10 nautical miles, we'll do a turn to the right to a heading of 010 with uh, a speed approximately 185 knots. And then we'll be on the final approach. The uh, missed approach procedure, in case we are not stable for the landing, will be a heading of 010 degrees and we'll climb to 2500 feet. And um, as soon as we reach 2500 feet, we will again do a, a right turn for the Scopolos VOR and head directly to the Scopolos VOR. This is the missed approach procedure. I hope that it's not going to be. Oh, wait a minute. Um, too, stress, uh, too stressy to do that. So we are now descending to 5,000 feet. lot of clouds here at the moment. All right, eight, 8 thousand feet. The altitude at which we'll do, or uh, the altitude at which we'll begin our approach at the Scopolos VOR will be 4,000 feet. So we're we'll already dialed that in. Okay, we're now at almost at transition heights. So, uh, Q and age is one zero one three. Okay, I'm reducing the vertical speed now because you can see that we are having problems maintaining our speed. We're now 30 nautical miles away from the VOR. I um, am not able to see the island yet, it should be down there. This proves to be an interesting approach, actually.
Okay. I hope that we'll be able to make it. Okay, so let's see. So the med report says, um, Two thousand five hundred broken. So this looks pretty realistic to me. So as soon as we're below two thousand five hundred feet, it should clear up. Let's hope it. Let's hope it's. Uh, <laughs> let's hope it is that way, because uh, otherwise we won't be able to land here, and we have to divert to Athens. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't have time for that. So. I really hope that we will be able to land. You can see here, this is the display where we are with our approach. Okay, now it's clearing up. That's perfect. So I'm keeping the speed of 240 knots right now. And as soon as we're at the Skopelos VOR, we'll reduce speed to 185 knots, just like the approach chart. Where is the 185 knots? Yeah. And now you can see. Um, a as you can see now, if you take a look, um, this right is the island of Skiados. Or, no, no, no. Uh, well, it's away, yeah. That's Skiados Island. That's where the airport is. You can already see the strip here. And this is the island of Skopelos. And the VOR is somewhere around here. So you can imagine you will. Um, let me take. Let me show you this from um, this perspective. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see. The, here's the VOR, here's the strip. So we'll advance here, we'll go south, radial 205, to approximately somewhere around here, do, do our turn here and go straight in for the runway. And I hope everything will work. Okay, Scopolos VOR is already. I'm already coming into sight. Or we're advancing pretty fast. So I'll dial in the heading that I'll need now. I'll dial in the altitude that I need already. 250. Or let's say two thousand. Oh, 
Okay. So now I'll reduce the speed. One eight five knots. Okay, flaps one. Dial in the radial of 205. Initiate the turn and activate the approach face. And descend to 2000 feet. You can see now that our approach differs from the one that we have in the uh, navigation display because it is a visual approach and you can now see the strip we have it in sight. Good, so we're cleared for a visual approach now. We are descending, we are at 18, we should be at 185 uh, knots now. I'm reducing to 180. Okay, now I can see the distance to the VOR is, where can I see that? It is 3.2 nautical miles, at 10 nautical miles we'll initiate the turn. So, I am reducing vertical speed to reduce speed. Our approach speed, if we remember, is 130 knots. So I'm going to reduce further now. We're already at 5 nautical miles distance. We're at almost 2,000 feet now. Six nautical miles. Okay, he's now maintaining the altitude. I'm now reducing to one zero three knots already to approach speed. I know it's early, but I don't want to have the stress in the final approach. Flaps two, and at ten nautical miles, we'll initiate the turn for zero one zero degrees. Almost there. Okay, initiating turn. Zero one zero degrees. Flaps three, 